American businessman, media mogul, and a former minister of the United States who became famous as a televangelist, Marion Gordon Pat Robertson, was born on 22nd March 1930 in Lexington, Virginia, into a family with connections in politics. He is the chairman of the Christian Broadcasting Network, an American religious television network and production company, on which he hosts his own television program, The 700 Club, and is a best-selling author, too. So, just how rich is Pat Robertson? As of mid-2017, his net worth has been estimated by Celebrity.Money to be more than $120 million. Made from business and television, about which the media has speculated over the years, accusing the televangelist of scams, illegal financial schemes, and unethical use of tax-exempt income. As Robertson has founded several supposedly non-profit organizations besides his business. Pat Robertson is the son of a U.S. senator father and musician mother. He went to the Macaulay School in Tennessee and then studied history at Washington and Lee University. In 1948, he joined the Marine Corps, spending most of his time in service doing office work in Japan. In 1955, he graduated from Yale Law School with a law degree. And then in 1959, he completed a master's degree at the New York Theological Seminary. Pat Robertson started the Christian Broadcasting Network in 1960 with a small radio in Portsmouth, and after 17 years in this area, he bought his first cable TV channel, which soon became very popular thanks to his conservative Christian television views. Over the years, the channel changed name and ownership several times. Today, it's known as ABC Family and is owned by Disney, but it's considered to have brought more than $500 million to its first owner. Pat Robertson also owns an 11,000 square foot mansion built on the top of a mountain in Virginia, a small hotel, a company based on multi-level marketing schemes which sells vitamins, and a company which controls controversial diamond mines in Zaire. In the early 60s, he started building his empire, using mostly money from donations. After he became popular in the United States in 1988, he tried unsuccessfully to win a nomination for the president of the U.S. for the Republican Party. As a politician, Robertson has been president of the Council for National Policy and used his influence by endorsing several Republican candidates. His movement, Christian Coalition, now called Christian Coalition of America, is ranked number seven on the list of the most powerful political organizations in the United States. The former televangelist is also known for his conservative and sometimes controversial statements made on his television program, The 700 Club, on topics such as international politics, abortion, homosexuality, liberalism, among many other subjects. Pat Robertson is the founder of several companies and nonprofit organizations such as the Christian Broadcasting Network, CBN, Regent University, American Center for Law and Justice, The Flying Hospital, and Operation Blessing, International Relief and Development Corporation. One of these companies, International Family Entertainment Incorporated, was sold in 1990 for $1.9 billion, a transaction which added a considerable amount to Robertson's net worth. At the end of the 90s, Pat Robertson acquired an interest in mining businesses, and the media discovered he had owned a company which was involved in allegedly unsafe gold mining operations in Liberia, as well as other similar interests in Zaire. Pat Robertson has written more than 12 books, including his first book, The New World Order, followed by The End of the Age, The Ten Offenses, and Courting Disaster in 2004, adding further, of course, to his wealth. In his personal life, Pat Robertson has been married to Adelia Deed Elmer since 1954. The couple has two boys and two girls. 